G'day guys, Skylar Stardrift here. I'm just a dragon that plays video games. Welcome back to Ratchet and Clank. In the last episode, we traveled to Drex, well, we didn't travel, we were already at Drex Fleet, and we basically took care of things. And we also found out that Drek is currently on Velden waiting to press the deplanetizer button. That sounds nasty, but not as nasty as we're about to get on Drek. But we're not going to him just yet. I think Velden can hold out for just a little bit longer. At least I hope so. We need to travel to Blackwater City on Rilgar for something. So let's start drifting. I'm sure that people already know what I'm up to by traveling back to Blackwater City on Rilgar. And if you don't, well, you're about to find out and probably hate me for glitching the game, but I'm not going to be playing this five times to buy a weapon. Sorry. <laughs> All right, let's get to it. Straight away, all we got to do is jump on the taxi to Rilgar. I mean, Rilgar. We are on Rilgar. Duh. To Raceway Plaza. Now, whilst we're on here, I'm just going to equip the decoy glove, and I'm also going to go into the quick select, and I'm going to swap out my hollow guys for the taunter. Which means I've got to re-equip re the decoy glove. Oops. Okay. So we just boost over this way. So we come over th here to this little spot. And we sort of go in the first person mode, line ourselves up a little bit. Nope, that's not gonna work. The idea here is we're trying to glitch ourselves into the wall. So let's hope we can do so. It's a bit tricky. That's not gonna work. It's gyrating like, oh heck, I don't think that's going to show up in the recording, I'm not sure. But it's not going to work. The glitch will work, it's just that positioning won't work. You need to get the decoy glove decoy as close as you can to Ratchet, and you need to get rid of it if it's not in the right spot. Well, I'm not sure if that's helpful or not, but I like to get rid of it if it's not in the right spot. You sort of need to wedge it in there, and then... Ratchet will push through the wall. And don't jump like I did. <laughs> That's not going to get you any closer. I think what I might try to do is to set one up like here. And then... Forgive my gyratiness. Push myself through the wall. Or not. I've pushed myself into a corner. <laughs> I need to go that way. Not that way. Jeez, they're going everywhere. In the wall, Ratchet. In the wall. Come on. Nope. Alright. This could take me a few minutes to set up, so I'll probably speed this up or something. I just re tried recording this and it, I failed miserably. No, that's... Now, apparently, I'm not sure if this is true or not, this only works once per save file. So, be wary of that. Make sure you do everything you can do. I should stop jumping there. I think that's what's screwing me over. I'm gonna have to result to the to the bleh, 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 bleh. I'm gonna have to resort to the Gadgetron PDA in a minute to buy more ammo for this thing because I'm running out. I'm not ashamed to say that I've wasted a few ammo clips doing this over the course of my experience with this game. I just gotta get it just right. Ah. Come on, Ratchet, push! Push! Knock the wall out of the way! <laughs> Jeez. 
I don't remember it being this difficult. Aha! Got it! Finally! Victorious! Now the camera's gonna go a bit wonky here, but don't panic! Don't panic! You're fine. You're doing it right, if this happens. Just keep walking around here. And you'll find there's some little lights over there. And the camera is not cooperating. I'm gonna want to jump straight up. And this building will spawn. Jeez, I almost fell off. Okay. This building spawned, and the camera's still being a bit... cataclysmic. You're gonna want to jump over here and land on the hoverboard track. Now we're gonna get out the taunter. Alright. Now comes the easy bit. All we gotta do is walk around the track and bust bolts. That's essentially what we're here to do. That's all we're here to do. So make our way around the track. I think you can go backwards around the track to get to a certain point, but I'm gonna go this way. Just to be on the safe side. Thanks to the bolt grabber as well, we're gaining a lot of bolts from this. The thing is, the taunter can be used to break crates. Which is a highly effective means of getting money. Uh, we'll just deal with these amoeboid guys over here so they don't... I mean, I don't think they're going to get in the way, so we should be fine. Alright. See that stack of crates up there? Well, what you want to do is smack these amoeboid creatures so they don't attack you. I think there's one more roaming around. No? There isn't? Okay. And stand about here. And that's it. <laughs> that is literally all you have to do. You just need to hold down the button. Now you can hold the button down with a piece of tape or a book or a rubber band works apparently, but I tried earlier and I couldn't get that to stick. I'm not sure if I'm standing in exactly the right position, but to get the most bolts. It's a bit hard to stand in the utmost right position to get all the bolts possible. But essentially you leave it overnight. You leave the game overnight and you get as many bolts as you want. This is a quick way to earn the 1 million bolts achievement or trophy I suppose which I think I've already got. And it's also a quick way to buy some of the later versions in the game. Hint hint the Rhino or the gold weapons. So I am now going to leave you here. I'm going to cut to tomorrow morning because it is, well, it's only 6.47 p.m. tonight, but I'm not going to sit here and try to talk to you guys for several hours whilst this happens. 
So I'm going to leave it here and cut until tomorrow morning where I should have plenty of bolts. And then we're going to see who has the most fun between me and Drek. Although we probably won't be battling him right away. After all, we still have a skill point to obtain and a few gold, I think a couple of gold bolts, I'm not sure, on planet Velden. But we'll have some fun nonetheless. So we'll see you guys in a short while. Now, I'm going to go grab that handy box of Dancing Stage Mario mix on the floor, and I'm going to use that to put my to put on my controller. <laughs> Alright, anyway, see you guys very shortly. And by shortly I mean tomorrow morning for me. <laughs> and welcome back. It is a brand new day. Well, for me it is anyway. Alright, so, we're doing pretty well on the vaults. We have over 700... 787,000 vaults. That's a lot. However, I'm gonna keep holding the button for just a little bit whilst I explain what happened, right? So I went to bed. Everything was good, everything was fine. I checked it, you know, getting lots of vaults. At 3 a.m. in the bloody morning, Windows decides, I need to restart and do important updates. I didn't discover this until I, when I woke up this morning. I'm not sure if that's done anything at all, but I think I should be over or closer to 1 million bolts by this point. And I'm not. <laughs> So I think that when Windows restarted itself, it just stopped working the Elgato because the Elgato basically wasn't switched on, which means the PS3 wasn't displaying anything because it relies on the Elgato to feed it through to the television, so it actually stopped working. Now whether or not that's true, I have no idea and I have no way of finding out because the recording is, you know, not working. So, I thought I would be close to a million, but I'm not. But anyway, I'm going to release the button now. 700,000... 700... Hold on. <laughs> 788,783 bolts. That should be more than enough for what we need to do. So, let us resume play by jumping off the edge. And dying. All right, that puts us back out here. Now then, I'm not sure what the easiest way to do this is, to be honest. I need to head downtown, but I'm not sure where exactly I need to go. But anyway, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna head back to our ship and we're going to go back to where we battled Quark, which was... I want to say Quartu for some reason, and I can tell you right now it wasn't Quartu. Mm, yeah, we'll do it. <laughs> we'll head there first. Uh, okay, it's not Umbrus, not... Batalia, not Pokitaru, not the nice. Gamlik base. There we go. I just hope I'm not making a really solid mistake. <laughs> Remember, we need 130,000 bolts for the most powerful missile launcher in the galaxy. So we need to make sure we have 130,000 bolts left over. Anyway, welcome back to the Gamlik base. We need to find where the gold weapons are stored. Now, I thought there might be a teleporter or something that will take us straight there, but I'm not sure. It would be awesome if there was. There is. Aha! 
go to the space fighter hangar. For one reason and one reason only. Wait a minute. Where do we need to go? That way. Alright, we'll jump up here. Get on this thing. Ups the daisy. Hello, 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 hello. We'll take that. The Gold Blaster. <laughs> More damage. And we'll get the gold suck cannon too. I'm being careful here because I don't really want to spend too much. I think Ratchet was supposed to say something there and he didn't. <laughs> Alright. The gold pyrocitor. And the gold bomb glove. Right. So we now have all of the gold weapons that we're able to purchase at this particular point in the game. Which is kind of cool. <laughs> As I believe I previously stated, the gold weapons do more damage. Which is beyond outstanding. Also, we will never have a money problem again. <laughs> All right, let's head back to... where is it? Rilgar, that's where we want to go. I know we were just there, but I thought I'd... I thought, you know, I'll buy the gold weapons. And then we can use them before we get to the Rhino. Yeah, I just spoiled the whole thing, didn't I? <laughs> All right. Back to Rilgar. We can skip that, because we got important stuff to do. And now we just gotta hope we're going the right way. So as you can see, all the gold weapons we have, have automatically upgraded things on our quick select. Also, I'm going to fix that and get the taunter off of there. I'm going to replace it with what I wonder though. Devastator's already on there. Every single gold, every single weapon has, except for the Rhino, has a gold counterpart that you can purchase. I don't think the Taunter's got one, but I'm not sure. Actually, I'm going to replace it with a drone device that's going to come in very handy later on. We don't need the Hollow Guys anymore, so... There's no problem with that. The metal detector's automatically equipped. Swingshot. Probably gonna need this swingshot and the trespasser. Maybe I should equip the Gadgetron PDA there, but... Mm. For now, this'll do. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Gold Blaster! Take that. I'm not sure what the easiest way to get into the city is, but I'm gonna go this way. I can never remember how to get into the city exactly. Uh, okay, let's... swap on to the Gold Pyrocitor. <laughs> That's not fire! <laughs> That is not fire at all. Have you guys just been using gold pyrocitus this entire time? Look at how much damage that does. Like one shot and they die. 
Oh boy, I love this stuff. I don't even know why I'm bothering to smash all the crates. Call it the OCD. Die! What else have we got? Mm, we've already seen the Gold Glove of Doom. Gold Suck Cannon's probably not gonna do much. Got the Gold, gold Bomb Glove, so I guess we can try that out. Some things are less impressive than others, but... Whatevs! Let me off, I want my Rhino! Kaboom! 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 We killed that tank in one shot. That's how powerful this bomb glove is. Also, remember when I just put the... what was it? The drone device in here? Well, we're gonna be swapping it out. Like, instantaneously. <laughs> Because of this. Oh, it's 150,000. I thought it was 130,000 volts. It's a good thing we have 709,000 volts left. This thing is heavy! Yeah, try carrying it around in your trench coat for two months. Thank you, sir. We'll be sure to tell everyone about your services. Listen, you little twerp. If you tell anyone what you saw or what we talked about... Do I even have to say it? You two have a nice day. <laughs> you just purchased the Rhino. Straight into the quick select. Give me the Rhino. This thing is five times of awesome in one neat little package. I want more ammo. <laughs> I got some great bargains for you today. Only 20 molts for ammo? <laughs> That's nothing. <laughs> As stated, this is the most powerful missile launcher in the galaxy. Best of all, it has homing capabilities. <laughs> It's probably not best to test it out here, on these guys. It's kind of a waste, actually. As you can see, each ammo releases, like, a bucket load of mini-missiles that just home in on foes. Like I said, though, it's probably not best to test it out here. We need to go somewhere where there's a lot of enemies. So why don't we do that? Also, we still have 559,000 bolts left. So bolts are definitely not a problem. Alright, well let's head back. <laughs> There's something so satisfying about carrying the Rhino in your pocket. It's hard to describe, really. Alright. Where's a good place with lots of enemies? Hmm... I don't know. Let's just head to Velden. And I think we'll end the episode on that note once we get there. With all the power we have, we actually can't use a lot of it, because there is a skill point to be obtained on this planet. But, it requires a certain... method of killing enemies. And we need to use the Omni Wrench, essentially. And welcome back to Velden and Ratchet's Garage. And apparently Ratchet has taken into liberty the taking it taken it into liberty, I suppose, to pull down his Captain Quark poster. As soon as we land. So we've gotta to get to there, which is a bit of a trek, so it'll probably take us a couple of episodes to reach there. 
But, hey, we get to use our new weapons in the process. Except on a certain enemy, but we won't see those for a little while just yet, I don't think. Anyway, we'll see you guys on the flop side when we attempt to save Ratchet's planet. So we'll see you guys on the flop side. Catch you then, and thanks for watching. Oh man, I can't wait to unleash Rhino Hell on everything on this planet. They will be so screwed.